Hello. Is it going? I think it's going. Yes. Well, hello. A little bit. Is that all right? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our Sunday hangout. Good to see you. Just getting ourselves set up We're on the laptop. That works. <sighs> and relax. Well, I say well, relax. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> That's not going to happen. We are surrounded by stuff. We went proper crazy yesterday. Um, we were at Newton Longville's garage sale trail. Look at the size of the map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there's no stores on the map. <laughs> it, was bit... it was. It worked okay, but... Yeah, it's a map with the streets, and then you have to refer to the list of streets to, to get a list of numbers. Sort of worked. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. So you had to kind of navigate and think, okay, there, there's this road we're coming up to. Quickly, have a look, see if there's a... a... How many stalls are on that road? <laughs> any stalls on this road. And then, and, we and then by that them time, I've looked, Nick's dri driven past the road. <laughs> It's so much easier in an app. Oh, wish we could get that finished. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Let's say some hellos before we kick off. And we've got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. It's a really good it's mix of stuff. Strap in. <laughs> Grab a cup of tea. <laughs> there's some video games. There's some Disney. There's some really nice antique stuff. There's some high value stuff. There's some, there's a bit of everything in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Peter. Good to see you. Uh, Gary, welcome. Uh, there's Rich. Good evening. Jason. So was Peter replying to us saying we better start selling stuff? <laughs> oh, no. But here's the thing. It's coming to the end of the season. You know, things do get a bit harder to source, don't they? Because yep. pretty much all of our boot sales shut that we go to not that we've been doing many boot sales and the garage sale trail thing like this one the yeah. season for that is pretty much done so yes we have filled the house but we now have the, the couple of winter months where things are lean to uh make some space again that's that's our excuse <laughs> good evening dave and steve we'll say a couple more daniel's in there's another gary um let's do a quick question because i can see it if you sold a huge plush denim dog denim dog uh 45 centimeters tall would you send it in a box or an extra large ebay bag um plushes are okay in in extra yeah. large bags i've certainly I done that so. i have boxed plushes as well yeah if you want to make sure it's protected in case it gets you know bag gets caught in the mail or whatever then double, double bag double bag it mm. i quite often put a, put it in a clear bag and then put it in an ebay bag yeah if in doubt box it <laughs> <laughs> i've never heard of a denim dog though what the hell is uh, a denim interesting a plush made of denim i'm thinking anyway welcome everybody we'll stop with the hellos there because we have got a lot of things to do oh chris b's in welcome mate all sorts of people. Ben was there. Uh, Damien, I just saw whiz past. John, Alan. Right, we're at the end. <laughs> now we need, we do need to say some hellos or a shout out. Yes. R and J resellers. I think they were in Message the chat. Is there. I bought it up. Do you want to read that then? Yes. Have they quick... say um, they bought some stationery from us and said, "Hi Nick and Andrea, I'll be ordering some more. Just asking if you could do a shout out to my daughter as she got her first job as a communication executive assistant. That sounds very fancy, doesn't it? That sounds fancy. It sounds like you know you need to have lots of brains to do that. Yeah. Um, so her that name was... is Sasha. So congratulations, Sasha. Um, yeah, and that was from R and J Resellers. Yeah, congratulations, Sasha. That sounds way more fancy than we could ever aspire to <laughs> excellent and thanks so much for the order the the stationery has we knew it would sell well but it's been selling so fast it's awesome um i'll get the rest of that listed throughout next week we actually bought some more stationery as well yesterday should i show that to start with while it's on my mind yeah i bought a massive box of marker pens <laughs> it's like a bulk, it. bulk oh, they're, pack. they're in the chat 
Yeah, I thought I saw that. There we go. Fantastic. Good to see you. Look at these. There's a couple missing, but it's almost a complete like jumbo pack. I think there's three missing. Um, the couple we spoke to the couple and they said their daughter started studying art and then quickly decided it wasn't for her. But they bought her loads of supplies and stuff, including a massive jumbo box of these. And they reckon they spent 50 quid on it or something, didn't yeah. they say? Um, so I grabbed that. I did pay 15 for it. Haggled them a little bit. Um, but there'll be some money in that. From the same people as well. I don't know whether this was for their daughter's art. I don't, maybe not. But it's a brother label uh, generator. The, these are generator? <laughs> label printer. Let's go with that. Not as expensive as, as I thought it might be. About £30, I think I'm looking top end on that. Um, but we paid a fiver, so that's not a bad return. Sealed in the packet. Selena's excited about Disney. <laughs> yeah, I think it was on my Instagram post. You said, oh, is, is, is that a um, dwarf? It is. It, it's, um, it is. Yeah. He sat right next to me. He is a sleepy dwarf. Oh, is he snoring? Yeah. Right. He's got sleepy on his hat. And he's Disney store. He's got a little stamp on his Ooh. on his foot. I don't remember us picking him up. Was that the same store where we got the inch, the kind of more yeah. obscure plush? Yeah, I, I picked him up. I thought it was lovely. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. I remember years ago we had a load of... Um, don't take him away. <laughs> we had a load of these that had... He's so soft. Remember the rucksack ones we had? Mm. We had a load of these that, that had zips on their back and they were rucksacks. Um, so from the same store, can you reach those? Yeah. We we found um, a bunch of plush and we didn't know who these were. Okay. Um, we'll, yeah. um, we'll have a quiz. Who can tell us at least what Disney program these come from? I, I had to write it down. I did some research earlier. I bet I've lost my notes. Where's my notes? Here we go. Yeah, anybody know? I'd be impressed because I was clueless. But we, we grabbed them because they are Disney. And when it comes to Disney Plush, Obscure is good, right? The ones that weren't made in vast numbers and not many people picked up, they're the ones that become collectible. And I've seen someone sell a pair of these for 30 quid, so they were well worth picking up um for what were they 50 p each yes Mufasa says you guys always get bargains well that's a big, just because we put ourselves out there to look for them yeah that's we spend all. we spend a lot of time looking <laughs> they, they don't come falling into our lap and um, we had to drive this was actually we were going to milton Keynes anyway which was a bonus but we probably would have gone to this one anyway but it was about 45 50 minute drive for us yeah um, anybody know what these are? Oh, do you, do you want to yeah, read that Yeah, we've got out? a um, super chat from Deb. It says, greetings to Nick and Andrea in Oldie, England. <laughs> Oldie, Deb, England? In Middlesex County, Massachusetts, New England, USA. Fantastic. From Thank old, you. To Oldie, England, from New England. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Thank, I see. I get you, it Deb. now. Thank I get you, it Deb. now. The screen is so... The writing so small on him. I haven't yeah. appeared. <laughs> I get it. New England, old England. It makes sense. Thank you so much for the message in the super chat. Oh, did anyone? Yes, I see Steve's in with it. Yes, Eleanor of Avalon, isn't it? Yes. Something like, oh no, Avalor. Yes, you're right, Steve. Now, the twins watch that program. These are the baby yeah, Bridget got leopards. It too. Eleanor of Avalor. Yes, did somebody, I think I saw someone have one of the names. I think it was Steve said Sophia. Was is one of them called Sophia? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These are Zoom and Estre Estrella, something like that. I think there's a purple one as well. Whose name? Oh, Mingo. Mingo? Something like that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then there was that weird looking beastie that we both quite oh, yeah, liked. No, Damon said Estrella. Yes. There you go. He's got the knowledge. That's this one, I think, isn't it? Super chat from Gadget Man. Thank you. Do you keep stationery? No, I move around a lot. <laughs> you being funny? No, that's um Gadget Man there. 
Being oh, you read it out. I thought the question was, do you keep stationary? And you said, no, I'm even heard a lot. No, it's, in, it's in with his jokes again. It's his, oh, dear. Our resident comedian. But didn't, wasn't it? I get muddled up with names. Was it Gadget Man who, who ordered the CD the Hello, other day? Lady. Um, yes, it was. Yes. CD's on its Hi, way. Um, I did have a listen to that. Um, was it Jason? Gadget Man. I think so. Oh, um, <laughs> Steve says, I watched Disney Disney Junior for five years every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel your pain. Well, we've been there with like CBBs. <laughs> When Ellen was small, it was like, oh, what was that saying? Oh, yeah, Gadget Man CD's on its way. I did have a good listen, uh, really enjoyed it. So, hopefully, you'll enjoy the, the album too. Hey, Sharon, what's her name? I can't even think of her name now. What, what the was CD. the question? I'm sorry, CD, um, um, Sigrid, Sigrid. Oh, my goodness, brain yes. fart. <sighs> Right, so no, not this that this one, yeah, but oh, that guy, okay. the big furry guy. Bear with. We all know who this is. Oh. But, but you okay, can get so you can get a tap next point. Next quiz. <laughs> tap point quick on this one. We're who? doing this. We're doing this one. Oh, doing this one. What? You told me to get this one. Yeah. All right. Does he? Uh, oh yeah. Mike Wazowski, yes. I don't, I can't remember who got the tap point last time, but we're giving them out now. Laurel. Oh. MU, Monsters University. Yeah. Hi, Lavender Clothesline. <laughs> Made live. And this one. Yes, so oh. another another tap point. Who is this? And what? Is it a film? It's a film, isn't it? What film is this one from? I thought this was something to do with Coco. You know, the animals, like the spirit animals in Coco. I see. Steve knows it is not... Tinkerbell. Yes, it is Tinkerbell. Yes, half Kim, a tap point. Kimmy Kitty was in with that. Who is he? Because he has a name. Yeah, not Airbender. Uncle Albert. Okay. <laughs> Uncle Albert, Airbender? Hmm. No. Crudes? No, it's a Disney one. It's from one of the Tinkerbell movies. In fact, it's Tinkerbell and the Never Beast. And I think he might be the Never Beast or one of, but he has an actual name. Oh, I don't think we're going to get it. People are frantically Googling now. Gre Greg? No? No? Shall I, shall, I, shall I let you know? Shall I just say? We'll be here all night. Peluche says Damien. That's not what I found out when I researched oh. it. I've got Gruff for this. Gruff the Never Beast. You, you came up to me, you went Gruff, and I said, I'm sure that they don't bark. <laughs> Kez. Kez says Gruff. I'm oh, thinking... Oh, there we go. Old Sharon says Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Most things are called Jeff in this house. Um, Sharon's makeup the other night was amazing. I showed oh, Andrea was. that picture. Was. You looked that was awesome. Sharon went out as like a what was it like a zombie nun? <laughs> yeah, we're going to go with Gruff. Anyway, we need to move on. We've got loads yes. of stuff. So now, that's that was was that it for Disney Plus? Maybe. I think so. I'm just going to have to go move. And I think he's about a fifteen pound plus from what I looked at. Where you going? Uh, where's? I'm looking for a third one of that. Oh, I might have it here somewhere. I picked up three Bings. Oh, see, so you spoiled my little thing. I was going to do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't get the memo. Oh, well, show those and I'll see if I can find the other one. Okay. Here it is. So, not not just one bing. Two bings. Three bings. <laughs> oh, my God. This bing. That's like, let's get a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who is who was that? Who's the little this, guy? This thing comes with a little friend, and I just oh my heart melted. I felt awful, but the the little girl who was selling her cuddly toys, um, I I picked up Bing to buy, and then she said this one goes with him, and I said oh okay thank you, and she she gave it to me. But before she gave it to me, she had to give it a cuddle goodbye. <laughs> 
don't do that. But she was very happy with the money and <laughs> she and, wanted and to sell them. Was pleased to but sell she it. She wanted to give them all a cuddle goodbye. And yeah. It was just like, oh my god. It was just, it was sweet, wasn't it? She wasn't yeah. she wasn't mortified at selling it. She just wanted no. to cuddle it goodbye. Oh, there you go. Before Stace, we get complaints, she is the expert on all of this. Bing's friend is God. Um, friend or guardian is flop oh okay right cool so that guy's flop well i can see why <laughs> yeah so it's a bit of a bing day not not a bin day <laughs> a bing day that's embarrassing those bings are, are only called chandler <laughs> chandler bong chandler bong <laughs> oh dear friends mm -hmm. jokes yeah um, okay. Yeah, R&J Seller says the name is Flop, so I need to remember that. Yes. Well, let me put it on here with my Disney notes. Bing and Flop. Kim, Kim Kit is in there. There's Aaron. Oh, my pen's not working. Oh, there we go. Bing, Flop. <laughs> Bridget says. <laughs> Bridget obviously thoroughly enjoys Bing. Says, not Bing. <laughs> Just Flop, not Fly Kick him. <laughs> I don't think I've ever watched it, have you? <laughs> Uh, Peter's got a question. Do you film? Oh, did you film, or was it tricky? Um, was it strictly get oh, on and sorry. source without distraction, as I call it? Everything's small now. Even I've got my glasses on. I, still I can't read it. I was filming using the GoPro, and we had a moment actually. We went to a store and we bought quite a lot of stuff from that lady. Loads of wrestling figures. Um, yeah, that crate of wrestling stuff. A load of Meccano, a load of Connects, all sorts of toys, wasn't it? And then we got back to the car and my GoPro had vanished and I was filming at that stall. So I went back and I said to her, did you know, did I put a GoPro down or something? And she was like, oh, no, I didn't see it. And then we both hunted all around her stall and then we hunted through the car and then we checked all the glass in between the car and the stall. And then we went, I think I've lost it. I don't know what's happened there. Went off to the next stool and on the way, walking down, found it in my back pocket. <laughs> and then he was embarrassed and didn't want to say it was in his back pocket. So he went to put the stuff back in the car and then he shouted across. Found it. It's in, in the car. It was in the, it was in the car. <laughs> because we'd left her number. She said, well, let me take your number. And if it turns up, I'll give mm. you a call. So we went to all that faff. I was too embarrassed to say it's in my pocket. We had one of those awful moments where we thought he'd like put it down somewhere while he was, you know, going through a box or something. Yeah. And that somebody else had just picked it up and gone off with it. But no, it's just me being stupid. Yeah. But I did film. We got a lot of footage. So I don't, at some point during the week, that will come out um, when I get time to edit. Right. Should we do some electronics as a bit of a mix it up? Yeah. <laughs> Sharp electronic typewriter, uh, which the gentleman had kindly had had set up and tested. Um, he offered to plug it in and show me it working, but I was happy with all of his typing. He's done it. The cat sat on the mat and he's done all the numbers and the whole alphabet. Um, yeah, we paid. I, I pushed him a little bit on price. We bought a fair bit from him. And I got him down to eight on this from 10. And it's a, I'm going to push for 50. This model seems to go for a 50 top end. And it also has. <laughs> what's that? I can't read it. Nick being stupid. Well, I... rude. <laughs> Lainey knows me too well. It has its little cover, which covers the keys, which is always nice if I can make that fit on. Or not. No, I'm being stupid again. <laughs> but in here, um, I didn't even realise it, it came with this bag full of gubbins, but he, he pointed it out and showed us. It's got a bunch of the tapes and stuff. I mean, you know, ribbons and whatever, whatever. <laughs> whatever, whatever. <laughs> Where's that come from? Oh, that one's that one definitely says new on it. I think. And a print, yeah. a print wheel as well. <coughs> oh, no, list. There's a list that says bed socks, shower mat, tea granules, 
vacuum flask, coffee and milk. So somebody many years ago was going <laughs> was going shopping. No, do you think shopping or no. Christmas list? Christmas list. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a normal shopping list, does it? Well, maybe they weren't a normal person. Anyway, so that was a nice bonus. Mm. Yeah, and also one of them. Oh, is that a correction? Yeah, correction tape. So yeah, very nice. And then from the same guy, all oh, the instructions are in there. That's unusual <laughs> for these. John Hodges says, whatever, whatever, next cover of that Shakira song. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-talented, me. Um, Neil says, the daisy wheel could be worth quids on its own. Nice. Yeah, that was a nice bonus that he pointed out. Oh, it comes with this bag full of gubbins. Um, Kelly says, um, sorry I missed you guys. My Rhiannon was doing a race for life at Willen. Oh, okay. How did she, uh, yeah, how I did thought she get on? Kelly how was going. Okay. Yeah, we did wonder if we might bump into you. But then um, my dad's partner was there as well all day. We never bumped into her once. <laughs> so it's just the way it no. goes, doesn't it? But we did bump into. Now, we bumped into a couple who we bumped into a few weeks back at mm. another one when it started raining. We had a chat with them there and then we bumped into them again here. And we tried very hard to remember your names. Hopefully you're in. We remembered Paul. Yeah, because we had a conversation where they were saying everybody they met today was called Paul. <laughs> yeah. So we've remembered Paul's we name he, and we've forgotten yeah. we've forgotten the lady's because name. We're getting old and we can't remember these things. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was really you know, nice. We chatting. know we'll see you again, another um jumble trail of yeah, and it will be I will definitely remember next time. If you're in, say hi in the chat. We yeah, apologize. tell us what your name is. I, oh, yeah, the conversation about Paul's has thrown us. I was like, oh, no, I, who, who was it that we met again? Because I remember Paul, and then it went, oh, I remember Paul too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I know, I know. Neil says, oh, no, not that one. Um, <laughs> Neil says, it's okay, Neil. And <laughs> Exactly. Who it is? was Kathy. Kathy and Paul. I'm sorry, Kathy. Kathy. I'm oh, so sorry. Yes. Right. Now we have to remember Kathy. No, we've got to try and remember <laughs> it for next time. Oh my oh. goodness. It was me, Kathy and Paul. Right. Fantastic. Kathy, Kathy, yeah. Kathy. I should we had, try we had, very hard to remember that. We had quite a chat, didn't we? And the stall holder was just standing there minding his own business, listening to us talking about YouTube Polish and reselling. <laughs> I was busy going through about a hundred vinyl records and I found one. Yeah. I found one which is rather a tasty one. Yeah, that's nice. A bit of Bob Marley legend. Um not matters of value. Um I haven't checked if it's the first edition yet, which seems to go for a bit more, but <laughs> ten, twelve pound, I think. They're yeah, getting old. They keep saying I'm from Birmingham and I'm obviously from Wolverhampton. These are old uns. <laughs> The more you go on about it, the more we'll keep saying you're from Birmingham. You know how it works. Anyway, from the guy we got the uh, typewriter from, we picked up this. Uh, he was telling me a little bit about it, that it was from the 60s. I think it was from somewhere in his family. They had He had so much stuff, didn't he, that was selling. It was like about five tables worth spread right across his, his front garden. Um, it does have an initial on it which you think might make it harder to yeah, sell. I don't I do. think it'll be a big distraction, but it's really thick, really mm. nice leather. And I'm sure he said, oh, it says there, made in England. And what does that say? Real, real something. It doesn't say leather, no. but it is leather. It's got, a, it's begins with C. Yeah. Real, right, what, what do you reckon that says? Oh, wait, wait. Real what? Why can't I read that? Um, Kathy says, yes, yeah, sorry. You? Kathy says, yes, yeah, sorry. I was babbling on whilst you were trying to find out. You were babbling on. <laughs> was it this one that had the key? Oh, Ben says Natalia's had her heart operation. I hope she's doing really well. Yeah, worrying, worrying time at that, that point for you particularly because yeah it's just not nice when you're waiting for somebody 
and they've had their operation and it's all no uh, it's a stress we've been through similar things as you as you probably know ben i'm i'm yeah. glad everything's going okay good to know and pass on her best our best if she's uh if she's not watching it wasn't this one that had the key it was the other one that we bought that had the key the modern one yeah yeah anyway it's a really nice um what would you call it documents case attache case um from the 60s people are apparently. saying real cowhide real cowhide mm. yes it is yes oh. i can see it now i thought it was all one word yeah. maybe cowhide is all one word maybe it is sure you'd just say real leather though wouldn't you why would you and, oh, they're just anyway. being, they're being fancy and, that was you know, i thought that was really that's nice fancy <laughs> so i went on it for a fiver would you have bought that if, if i wasn't there no <laughs> no, no I wouldn't. in a word no anyway that's that oh the dave says my missus had open heart surgery in 2004 she was 32. wow yeah. yours was 2007 wasn't it mm. yeah. yeah amazing what they can do these days mm -hmm. right do you want to get some breakables oh that mirror was mm, nice this is nice Right, another Pre customer prepare to, to uh, see what we see <laughs> it's like one of those mirrors you have at the end of your drive to see around the corner so yeah really nice sort of gilted edged obviously not real gold but um there was another customer buyer at the store when we were picking this up and looking at it and she started talking to us and said that these were used to put in rooms that didn't have much light mm. and they reflect the light around because they're convex yeah so they're to help spread light around rooms yeah which nice. i didn't know it's a little bit kind of discolored and patches yeah. on the metal but well so we do you know if this is this is older than us <laughs> i don't know what period but i mean it, it's obviously got some age a little bit of water staining on the back i reckon it's what what would you say 50s earlier yeah you can see what we paid no we paid could easily be earlier we paid three actually i was going to pay the four and then we were kind of dithering a bit and then one and the woman said i'll take three for it and i was like oh okay then um yeah i quite like that yeah it's lovely uh lavender clothesline says do you find that sales from heavier items are affected by shipping costs um usps goes up and up here it's obviously a factor because if something is super super heavy that the buyer will factor in how much it's going to cost yeah. i mean i when i sell on etsy i factor in the postage cost into my selling price um it's just a psychology thing so people don't feel like you know so you have everything free shipping on there yeah but then i don't on ebay because it's a very different market and i i don't think it's the same psychology on ebay hmm What's Kelly saying there? Hi, Kelly. I bought what I thought was a lovely leather coat. Turns out it's pig skin. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's a coat made of crackling. <laughs> Grim. Okay, let's get it over with. Show us your jugs. I did not buy any jugs. I don't think I did anyway. I tried to convince you to buy some jugs at one point and you were like, nah, don't want to. I bought lots of breakable things, but I don't think I bought any jugs. Well, should we do some breakables and mm. then we'll do some video games? Um, I'll show you this little cute little chicken. Looks like somebody put it in the shrinking machine. Look at that. What are you going to put in there? One egg? <laughs> I don't think you'd even fit one egg in it. Um, it is Emma Bridgewater. What, so that's that, it, that's, that's, that's its why, name, is it? That's, that's the reason why I bought it. It's basically just a little trinket dish, isn't it? Just a little novelty trinket dish. I quite like it. How yeah. much to, was that? Was it a it was pound? A, was it? Yeah, it was a pound. I bought it from the lady where you thought you'd let, lost your GoPro. Oh, yeah. Um, I bought a little bowl, which is Kate Ness. I did try and look that up earlier. Yeah. I don't think there's much value in it, sadly. Ah. Um, it's well. green swirl design. I think that we paid two pounds. Oh, that was a perfume. 
We pay yep. two pound for it. They're famous for their paperweights, as I'm and, sure you're you're well aware. Yeah, it looks like that. Um, it was nice. I would have gone it's, on it as well. It's worth taking a chance on this sort of thing. But I don't think we're going to do particularly well on it. We'll probably push for a 10 or something. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, do your own research as you will, but I couldn't find many that have sold for much. Oh, well. I think it's the paperweights that people really go for from Caithness. Not it, going to set the world alight, but it's a nice thing. It's nice to see it in its box, isn't it? Yeah, you don't, you don't I think find... that was why I wanted to buy it, to be honest, because it was in its original box. I mean, that may bump up the value a bit. Yeah. Bump up the value. Oh, up... Kelly's off. She only came to see my jugs. <laughs> oh, whatever. I can show you a nice vase instead. Would you like to see It's that? just not the same, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> nice pottery, studio pottery vase. It's got a maker's mark on the bottom. Not, I don't know what the maker's mark is, but yeah, it's my favourite colour, and it's, yeah, beautiful. So, I what, love it. what, what's your keywords here? Fluted? Is that fluted? Wiggliness? <laughs> it's a wiggly vase. It's got a wiggly top, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, vase with wiggly top. It's nice, though. Yeah. Like no, it. this is one of my favourite things I bought. This jar. Absolutely love that. Mm. That was two pounds. Yeah, the lady we reckon it had some age, didn't she? Yeah. It's not one of the modern. She said she had a bit of a collection, and she has some glasses that have got a similar design on. Um, but she said she had too many, and she wasn't using them all. So, yeah, I love that. Sort of seventies or eighties, isn't it? Mm. Really? Angela says, Andrea. Fifty nine ninety nine on eBay for your hen. Really? Mm. Sold? Or people just thinking, I'll yeah. try and get sixty quid for it. Well, I've Is got that, that sold. I've got that Emma Bridgewater jug on at like hundred, I think, something like that, and it's not selling, so I'm gonna have to drop it. But I've seen. People Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Drop the price, not the thing. Um, yeah, I've seen. I've seen it sell for that much, but you, you need the right person who wants to spend that much <laughs> christmas is coming um yeah. oh someone's saying hi to george is george I was, I, was given, I was given some free kath kidston soaps the lady said they should put some little freebies in a bowl for children to have and take away for free and um, she hadn't had many children coming around so i could take them and us as well i do have I have an inner child <laughs> so uh, just saying hi to George and uh, Stool's in, which oh, is cool. Um, Neil's in. Hey, Neil. We were in, you know, where you have your little booth. We were in there having a peruse the other day. That was fun. We yeah, saw your little we your see... camera case. Yeah. Case full of cameras. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Dave has sold his first global shipping item to India. A key oh. oh, Casio keyboard. Wow. Oh, cool. Excellent. Right, let's get back to the end of the chat and try and keep up. Okay, no jugs, but Nick won't let us down. Show us your media. Yeah, Nick has got media. It's coming. Oh, hang on. I did buy a jug. <laughs> oh, my. There's Stop. a jug. Stop the press. <laughs> Rewind. Get Kelly back in. <laughs> I bought one of those. Can't remember what they're called, but I've got a coffee it's pot. It's and a jug. I thought... <laughs> Can't remember the brand. Um so it might not even be the brand it might just be a copy but i do have a coffee pot which i might put with it so coffee pot and a cream jug i like how they do that with yeah. the little wooden is that so the heat doesn't transfer into the handle yes. so much and burn your fingers oh, isn't that clever yeah so it's got like wooden little riveted handle on nice yeah all is good with the world. We've seen Andrew's <laughs> jugs. Well, well seen <laughs> just just one today. <laughs> Kelly says, um, "Yay, cool, it's shiny." <laughs> <laughs> See, she didn't go. She wasn't going anywhere. Um, um, oh, look, they're never satisfied. <laughs> yeah, well, what can you do? <laughs> never satisfied. You have to work with what you're given. <laughs> nah, she stuck around, Steve. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, um, shall we switch to a little bit of media? Yeah, if you like. Drop two flying leopards. If you like. Um, so I'll just show you a couple of highlights, but I did 
find a bit of a stack. As you can tell, some PlayStation and some Xbox. Uh, a couple of... <laughs> That's a very good point, Barry. <laughs> what? Why would you worry about heat transfer on a cream jug? I suppose you might have steamed milk. Oh, that's a good point. I just thought, what's the practical? <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're they're all designed with a wooden handle, so. So it's more as much of a visual thing then. Yeah. Um, only a couple of three hundred and sixty games. Uh, Monopoly's not great. Maybe six or seven quid. Uh, Ultimate Alliance Two, I thought was a sought after one, but it doesn't seem to go much beyond ten. Um, but I grabbed those. I think they were. Either a pound or 50p. It was a lady where I thought I'd lost my GoPro. That was the same stall as your chicken. And we chucked in a load of stuff and then kind of did a price on everything. So pretty cheap on those. Yes, um, Helen. To match the teapot, definitely. Thank you, George. Reselling me? Well, yes. Yes. We'll talk about that in a bit. But yes, thank you for the super chat. Cheers, George. <laughs> And, and yes, apparently, is the answer. Um, here's one to have on your radar. Uh, Futurama, this is original Xbox, so the first Xbox. Um, I think, have a look now and check, but I'm pretty sure you can get about 30 still on, on Futurama. It's a decent title. Uh, and this one is in really nice condition with manual and other inserts. And, yeah. So that was probably the best out of the find. There's a few in here that are more uncommon titles that I sort of, I'll push for 10, 12 pounds. Kung Fu Chaos, Alien Hominids, not bad. And then a load that are the sort of five to eight pound, won't set the world on fire kind of titles. Public Commando. I always think that's going to have more value than it does because it's one of the uh, odd world ones, but it really doesn't. Not at all, that one. Doom 3s, 5 or 6 quid. So, yeah, a load of those. And I don't think there was many decent titles in the PlayStation. Oh, the Turtles is okay. That seems to hold its value. So that's all right. One of the less common Turtles games. Cliff said Xbox sells better than 360. Yeah. Yeah, it's becoming a more collected format. Um, so, yeah, I was just pleased to find some games. And... All of that, apart from the 360 stuff, came from a guy who had a load of games, and I just threw out an offer on pretty much everything he had, and he went for it. So I was happy with that. Um, oh. People are coming coming into the chat saying, oh, talking about um, prices that Emma Bridgewater sells for. Oh, yeah. Like, um, Linda says, a chicken egg coddler sold on eBay for £673. Um, Paul Keys says there's an Emma Bridgewater looks very much like yours, um, three hundred and ten pounds. What this? Are you sure it was that size? <laughs> but, but this is tiny weenie. Um, it's, it's barely a chicken. It's, it's a, Carol it's... says the the Emma Bridgewater hen has sold for two two o five. It's crazy rare. What? Okay, the chicken has sold for three hundred and ten. Wow. So so this may be the find of the day. <laughs> I just thought, oh, that's cute. Oh, it's Emma Bridgewater. That's nice. That's blown my mind. I like oh. you a lot, little chicken. <laughs> but Julie says, I collect Emma Bridgewater and it can be very, very expensive. It's yeah. mental. That's amazing. Don't drop your chicken. Don't drop my... No, don't drop my chicken. <laughs> um, wow, thanks, guys. Right. Who knew? I saw. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, BVP is saying any Christmas rocks this year. Hadn't really planned it, but I could do something on my channel. I know I've been really lax on my channel recently. I've had so much going on with Ellen going away, etc., etc. I know life has just been a bit overwhelming recently, but yeah, there will be more coming soon. And and yeah, that is an idea could do a little bit of a vlogmasy thing on my channel yeah 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 either on yours or on the main channel whatever works so quickly before i hand back to you for more breakable stuff um didn't find much in the way of electronics apart from the electronic typewriter that was a pretty good good find i really wasn't sure on this because the guy was at he was at 10 pounds 
which it's a sort of price where you think, ah, oh, it's a cassette player. Very often the belts are gone. Is it worth it? I'll have a quick look on my phone. So I did. Yeah. And it well, is. We went back, sat in the car, didn't we? Yeah. It's an, a NAD or an NAD. And I just punched the model number into eBay and people had been achieving up to £60 for the, for the cassette deck. So it's a decent make. And I figured I'd go for it. I went back. I tried to push him a bit on price, but he wasn't having any of it. Any of it. So I went for it. So fingers crossed that is working. And I'll push for the top end of, of the 50, 60 quid that I've seen these selling for. Mm -hmm. um, so that was that. Um, Warlord says, Andrea, coffee or tea? Oh, it depends what mood I'm in. <laughs> I like both. I, I've never drunk a cup of coffee in my life. Don't, do, like, don't like the smell. I do tend to drink decaf though because it just dehydrates me otherwise. Mm. I can't get over that chicken. That's crazy. It's madness. Right. Do you want to share some more bits? Yeah. Oh, I've got some lawn bowls again. <laughs> Emily Tunnel water chickens are for 2000. <laughs> oh, this has jumped, so I don't know where we were. Um, Wow. Where are we? Where are we? <laughs> In what used to be our garage, that's where we are. What, what was that there? This one here, Richard said, very rare Royal Worcester large two egg size coddler strawberry flower, uh, 350. Wow. I thought my egg coddler that, that was four eggs um, sold for £50. And I thought that was a lot. That wasn't Emma Bridgewater, though. I'm assuming that's an Emma Bridgewater. Thing. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, don't know. I had a it doesn't say it. <laughs> There's the thumbnail, Nick, staring at the chicken, looking confused. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Jenny says they just don't make many of the hens. Mm. Oh, Catherine just missed an Emma Bridgewater chicken oh. at a sale, sold for a fiver. Wow. wow. <laughs> Shame. Yeah. Hope you guys are well. Linda says she um, sold Emma Bridgewater stuff for eye watering amounts. Yeah, it is surprising. It really is. Um, um, Moira says just bought a 50p Wedgwood cup and saucer in pink. Up to now, it has 13 watchers and a bid of 65 pounds. Oh, good luck. Wow. How's Ellen doing at uni? Um, it literally is like that at the moment. <laughs> yeah. She will be fine, but she she's struggling with her her confidence and she she struggles with a bit of social anxiety at the best of times. And she's pushing herself to go out and, and be social. But it's it's difficult. You know, it's a huge change. She's an only child. She's never been away from home for this length of time. It was never going to be. And she's always been smooth, a, been a homebody. So it's she know, she's it's got difficult. some time. So she's coming home next weekend for a few days. So that will be a nice bit of kind of respite for her. And then she can go back, hopefully, more in Yeah, views. she's had a more but positive okay. day today. She's had some some good news about her project that she's doing. Mm. She's been looking for models and she's got somebody interested. And here's the thing. She she is she struggles with social anxiety, like I said, but she's she's been um getting in touch with people to be models for her next project, as in um, to, to take photos of. Mm -hmm. And she's arranging that. She's going to get them into the studio and stuff. So she's really doing well. Yeah. But, you know, she's... Yeah, it's believing that she's doing well. That's yeah. this <laughs> difficult. Right, while you're doing that, I'll, um, I'll show something else. Just keep us updated on the cheek. Yeah, will do. If you follow me on Instagram, links below, then I'll definitely put it on there. Some a few people telling me not to touch your chicken. <laughs> I won't break your chicken. No, you only too well. We bought some bowls today, and we didn't manage to drop them yet. Oh, see, I did what you did earlier. Bowls. Bowl lawn bowls. We also bought some glass bowls. Yeah. Uh, I picked up a prestige um, aluminium pressure cooker for a pound, and these aren't too bad. Probably push for about twenty on it. Uh, easy flip. Um, Warlord says, Nick, strong or milky tea? Um, strong, I would say, out of the two options there. Yes, definitely. 
Yeah. What's that? It's called a coddler. Oh, is it? One with oh. a different pattern sold for six, seven, three. Oh, is it actually used as a coddler? Do you, would you actually put it in a, a pan? Well, put an egg in there. Poach, eh? poach your egg in it. Don't know, maybe. <laughs> we ain't going to be coddling no eggs in it. No, we won't. Um, hey, Cliff. What does that say? Get the chicken. Get, I've already read one of Cliff's comments. Out. Get the chicken. Have we? Oh, sorry. <laughs> get the chicken out of Nick's hands. Remember the recruit. Oh, God, yes. Don't remind me about that. I still, I still got it somewhere. It's hidden, hidden away because I can't bear to look at it. Right. Going to grab some stuff? Yes. I was just um, catching up with the chat. Cool. What's our and Jay Sellers? We say the same. My daughter took photography, and that's how she landed her job. Um, I can't read it on that. <laughs> it's too small. That's how job. she landed her job. She has other duties as well as taking photos. Oh, I see. Look at your phone. Says, oh, I can't. It's Mandy. in the other room, Mandy. Oh, Sorry. What a disappointment. <laughs> All right, I'll show you something else then, shall I? Yeah. I picked up. <laughs> Bowls. More <laughs> bowls. <laughs> um, these might just be the cheapest bowls I've ever... No, I did buy a set of bowls for two pounds once. These were three, weren't they? Mm. Um, they're not going to be anywhere near as expensive as the 200 pound set that I sold recently. Those were modern and they were in date. Bowls are tested for competition play and they are stamped. Um, my dad was explaining all about this because he's super keen on bowls. He's the president of his bowls club. The little date stamp, little lozenge here. Um, it shows you when it was last stamped or, or tested. And when, if that goes out of date, you can get them retested and then they're re-stamped. Um, so these are, are long since past that. Um, but they are hence light. So look, hence like classic deluxe. So they'll have some value, but nowhere near the two hundred pounds I achieved on the last ones. But for three pounds, I'm not going to leave a set of bowls behind. So that was those. Okay, we're looking. Go at, for am, it. I, am I delving in my breakables box? Yes. Um, I bought a very pretty bowl, which has probably got hardly any value, but I liked it. <laughs> uh Worcester egg coddlers sell really well too. The bigger the better. Was that what you had? Yeah, that's last what time? I had last time. Yeah, we sold, sold on 50 pounds. Little one for 45 so, plus shipping, wasn't it? You know I love my amber glass, and this one is in the shape of a sunflower. Just thought that was so pretty. That was two pounds. Don't drop the boules. They're not French boules. <laughs> um, but I won't drop the, the bowls. On the chicken. The chicken is safely tucked under the desk here. <laughs> I have just found the same chicken as the one you have on eBay called Rare Emma Bridgewater Pink Hearts Coddler Small Hen on Nest. It sold for 310 plus £5.20. Oh, 20. my goodness. No. Wow. Wow. Is this wow. a big wind-up? <laughs> <laughs> It may well be. <laughs> a very expensive little chicken. Yeah, trying to get places to put things. In. That's insane. I would. Why are people <laughs> spending that much money on a chicken? Wow. Oh, I know where that teapot is. Look, it's in with the rest of the figures over there. So when we were with Kathy and Paul, we were picking up some some little bits and bobs from this stall and I bought See some. what you did there? You remember the name? I did. Uh -huh. um, yeah, we bought some, well, a set of three tiny little smoke glass, I suppose you'd say wine glasses. I'm wondering if we could... Um, Faith people having me. I'm wondering if we could like replace our wine glasses with these and then it might make us feel like we'd, we might drink less, if you know what I mean. I would just fill up the glass more times. It'd be a pain oh, in the neck. Okay, it says not a wind up. I've sent you screenshots. Wow. I imagine that's what Mandy's been doing as well. Oh yeah, go get your phone. Go get your phone. I'll show some oh, resting figures. I'll look later. <laughs> okay. 
Um, well, this is all wrapped up in a blanket, so I'm trying to delve in and not break anything. Put that chicken down and bubble wrap it. <laughs> We're unwrapping oh, yeah, breakables. I really, really from... like this. It's a candle holder. Um, Studio Pottery again. That's the Maker's Mark Two Fish. I feel like I've seen that before. Does anyone know what that is? But so pretty. No, I'm stressing Sharon out. <laughs> stressing me out. I'll put it away now. Yeah, so that was from, from the same stall as that. And a tiny little bud vase, as Josh would call it. A bud vase. Bud vase. I don't think Josh talks like that. That wasn't a Josh impression. <laughs> and this is West German. That was me doing you. It's West German pottery. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I think. I really like the colours on that. It's really cute. Did I grab that off the table? I can't remember. We were seeing all sorts of it goodness, It is literally we? a bud vase, isn't it? From that shape. Yeah, crocus, it looks Weird. like to me. Oh, and then you, you bought that because you wanted to buy a stein yeah i i always see people picking it i know pete you picked up a few of these um i see them around and i've i've just never gone for it so we grabbed one and they were 25p this guy had a load of mugs and different bits and bobs and he said oh anything on there is 25p so we went for it and this is musical so is it oh there we go it's got a stopper. So whenever you pick up to have a drink. That is, that is kind of cool, isn't it? So for my 25p, I think I'll do okay. It's got different scenes on it. I'm hoping that there's not something stuck in this blanket here. Because <laughs> I'm about to drop it. Oh, hang on. Steve's super chatted. Speaking for the chat. Oh. Shh. Speaking for the chat. Put the chicken in a different room. <laughs> Would you like to take the chicken away from me? No, it's all he's all right under there. Just leave him under there. Um, from the same people that were selling their mugs for 25p. Thanks, D. We got an ugly mug. <laughs> he's awesome. And this one just looked really interesting. It's um it's vintage from Japan. Oh, it's Japanese. Yeah. Uh. And, you know, there are people that collect sort of skull stuff. Oh, so this is Welsh. Really this is a Welsh ugly yeah. mug made yeah. in Wales. I can't quite make out the maker. Ver Verity? No, I don't know. Ugly pottery. Does it say ugly in the middle? Yeah. Something, something ugly pottery. Lainey says, what's the odds of Nick doing? I was a plonker video and <laughs> it shows the death of the chicken. Now, everybody, just think positive thoughts here because, you know, what we think, we manifest. So if we all think lovely thoughts about a whole chicken, <laughs> and I mean, you know, whole Emma Bridgewater one, not a mm, whole chicken. Still <laughs> reckons it's a tiki skull mug. Would that be class as tiki? I, I thought tiki was more colourful. Or am I... That's not the first word that came to mind when I thought. But I but thank you for the keyword. I will I will use it to search. Does it say pretty? Um, and then I got another amber glass nibbles tray in the shape of it. Yes, I reckon chat's got it. Pretty ugly pottery. Oh yeah, yeah. Awesome. That would work. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Pretty ugly pottery. <laughs> so yeah, I did all right on amber glass. I know it probably is, doesn't set the world alight, but I like amber glass. Right, this is one of your pickups that you spotted. Oh, yeah, I didn't have a chance to look it up. I went on this because it is a um, a Math Moss, the original lava lamp. I mean, it's obviously a modern thing. It's plastic top and bottom. Um but yeah, I've no idea what it's worth, but it was only two pounds, Bye, wasn't Steve. it? <laughs> Wife is staring a hole through because I'm meant to be watching TV with her. Oh, night. 
so yeah i don't know what these are worth but we paid two pounds for it and i think we'll do pretty well i don't know anyone sold a math moss like i say modern it's not one of the vintage ones those can be super expensive yeah linda kane said ugly mugs are even more collectible yeah i have heard that they're quite collectible so that's what attracted me to it oh <laughs> pete says the chicken will be safe have they <laughs> um, ian says i have an ugly mug that's why i wear this helmet <laughs> oh don't be silly Oh, Aid is asking about the Wix store. I um, haven't really been promoting it, so we haven't had a sale yet on it. Um, but, yeah, we do have a website, <laughs> which I have been populating slowly but surely. Um, I'm not sure if the link is below. We need to sort that out and redo our it's links. It's something we have... Yeah, we've been super busy with yeah. the normal things we talk about, and including Ellen moving... <laughs> leaving home which has certainly consumed your brain um so we haven't really started promoting that or talking about yeah. it so yes that will be something because we we need to do a follow-up video talking about how it's going and how we like it and etc cetera, etc cetera, which will be coming soon so yeah but at the moment nothing have, haven't sold a thing <laughs> um yeah i picked up some more kathy winkle plates i love kathy winkle plates <laughs> i just love her so much um so i'll show you what i got oh hang on news in yeah. angela mathmus lava lamp anything from 65 plus on Ooh, ebay nice. Told you. we've done all right we? done all right so I got sometimes we know what we're doing. <laughs> I've got a few plates in this design. And if you're looking out for Kathy Winkle plates, that's what it looks like on the back. And they're Broadhurst, and you'll see a signature Kathy Winkle. Huh. So um, there's we... three of those plates. Oh, breaker balls coming at me. And um, then some of these design as well. They look in better condition than That's... I thought they were at the time. I thought they looked all scratched up, but they're not too bad. No. This this lady also had loads and loads of other vintage and... ceramics, and you you were very restrained because we could have bought the whole lot super cheap. Yeah. And you just went, no, nah, I've got too much stuff, which you do. I do I've got even more stuff now? So there... um, there's five of these plates. I well, prefer that one because I just like the colours, but. I do quite like that. It's quite bold. Yeah. Um, did you pay four pounds on everything? I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was four on that. And then I bought the typewriter and got a down. I, I don't know. I think it was three. It was three or four. I, I think we ended up paying nine pounds. I think yours was four. And my typewriter, I got, I got it down to five. And I'll show that because it's really nice. What's mm. it done? I don't know. Oh, it's down here yeah so same stall while you were rummaging breaker balls i was having Aww. a play about with this which was sat underneath the stool sharon says oh my love those plates reminds me of nan reminds me of me nan yeah can't get in the <sighs> this oh, is thank you kent that's a lovely thing to say seeing you both looking well rested and not stressed makes me happy oh thank you I'm not sure we are well rested at the moment. We're just high on tats. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a lovely comment. Thank you. Um, Stall said, that was the dinner service I grew up with in the 70s. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's Bringing cool. back lots of memories for yeah, the chat. I think that's why I like it. I think it's yeah. just really nostalgic. I think my nun and granddad had something similar. I remember theirs having so yellow and orange. Dust around. It's making my nose itch. Right. Shall I share this, Erica? Yes. So same stool as the plates. Um, while you were busy, it's got it's not missing keys, it's just got a couple of stuck doodlies. There we go. I was rummaging under the stool and found this Erica. It's got the full case, and the case is in really good condition. Um, I saw somebody manage to achieve 120 pounds on this model, but they describe theirs as mink condition, which I can't describe this as because it does have some very light wear but i think more reasonable would be 50 60 70 maybe at a push um 
yeah, I'm really pleased. And it was a fiver, so can't go far wrong. It's a really nice thing. Look at that. And the brand is Erica. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can put it back together. But you can see the case is really nice. These are often really bashed up, aren't they? When you oh, them? good idea, Moira. What's that? Says, um, Nick, that's one for your T-shirts. High on tat. High on tat. <laughs> we haven't... We keep meaning to add to the T-shirts. It's another thing we never get around to doing because we have ideas and we say, oh, oh we'll do that. I thought about an idea the other day and I've forgotten it again. This is the problem. <laughs> oh, that smells... Smells very vintage. It smells so vintage. Look at that. So cool. That might be one of my favourites of the day. It's just a really nice object. Oh, it's heavy as well. Right. Um. Jimmy Cat, our um, niece Nina has this exact little thing, but hers has been so well loved, it doesn't quite look like this anymore, does it? No. <laughs> Um, I bought a, I bought a coffee stroke teapot, uh, which is Ashdale pottery. Do you remember how much I paid on this? Three. Three. Yeah. I like that. That's my sort of thing. We were looking at um, some of those Bell's whiskey, like Wade pottery bells. Um, she had a collection of the different sizes, um, and all but one were full of whiskey. Yeah. But she was being really odd about it. I kept asking her, what, how much were you thinking on these? How much? And she just kept telling me all about them and about, you know, who used to own them and this, that. And then they started talking about prices on eBay and this, that, and the other. And I just, I gave up. We just bought the teapot and went. It was just like, just... That's all very interesting, but I'd like to know how much you want to sell them for. <laughs> and then the, the moment passed and we just bought a teapot. R.S. Harris says, would be interested to see a packing video for the typewriters. So when they sell. OK, I will try and remember that. Yeah. Um, so we picked up a another kind of attaché case thing, but it's really a laptop case. It's a modern thing. Uh, genuine leather and it's just really nice I mean it's something that I might even think about keeping but I'm not sure that I'm going to take my laptop I mean we took our laptop away on holiday didn't we yeah but you do have a laptop I do have a little yeah it's, a different jump it's not as nice as this thing no, it's true. and this well, is the one oh yeah. smell that Ooh. Um, this one has the key somewhere yeah But she showed it to you, so it's definitely she showed in there it to me and then, and then put it in. What? Where's it gone? Oh, it'll be in the front pocket, won't it? No? Anyway, somewhere... Somewhere about it's got Somewhere in there it's got its key. It's going to annoy me. What the... It's got so many compartments. We're all just patiently waiting for you to find it. No, you can get on with something else. <laughs> Amuse yourselves. Um... Yeah. Oh, there's there's a box of stuff up there. I'll go and grab. Hang on. Oh, I thought I found it. That's the. Hang on. There's another pouch on the back. It's not in there either. What? I don't know where the key's gone. Where the what key's gone? I don't know where it's gone. She got it out and showed it to me. And... Yeah, she did. Hopefully, she put it back in. Carry on. <laughs> what? Oh, she tucked yeah, it. I know. <laughs> she tucked it in the little credit card holder thingy. What's it? Still says asking Andrea to inhale the aroma of a dead animal. I know. I did. I did think once I'd said it. Yes. Mmm. Smell so, the cow skin. Uh, one of my favourite pickups of the day. Anyway, there's that. Was some vintage Tupperware. So got a jug oh i've got another jug <laughs> who knew oh i just 
walloped myself with the first for the <laughs> at least it was you this with time. a leather strap. So first jug. See now I've got a pair of jugs. There we go. Yeah, but you were wonky. All is alright with the world. You're all I a bit a out, of, of jugs. out of balance. <laughs> so one of them. Um, These are nice. Yeah. Camping cups with lids. Yeah, they're cool. And Tupperware. Couple of beakers. And we had these um, very things. Yeah, it was hard to get the lids on and off. Yeah. They make them so tight. Oh, the woman struggled forever to get yeah. this lid on. I was standing there watching her thinking, a couple of, a couple of any time today. <laughs> oh, no, we've got, I, we've got I, stalls oh, to go I, to. I won't bother. I'll do that in a minute. But yeah, my um, mum, I think, has still got a load of these. We had them in orange and I think this sort of white cream colour as well. Okay. And one of these fun things. What do you call them? I don't know. What do you use it for? I don't know. <laughs> it's Tupperware and it was with the other stuff, so I bought it. Don't know what it is. She charged us £2 a lot, didn't she? Yeah. I'm not sure. I need to do some uh, research on that. Yes. Nailed it. Anyway, yeah, vintage Tupperware. Yeah. Uh, um, and then from the person that you bought the... Um, brown leather case and typewriter and stuff from you bought that which you love yes this is uh what's it called uh nut brown vintage ice cream scoop isn't that just the most cool like 70s looking item yeah. and we have one of these and as a kid i was saying to the guy we bought it off that little mechanism that kind of crank and fascinated me it's such a simple thing, but it's so well made. Um, somebody was saying, um, <laughs> you were a past Tupperware demonstrator in your youth. Well, I don't know. Maybe I did go to the parties with mum and demonstrate. I don't remember. We certainly had a lot of it around in the house. Cliff's mum used to have Tupperware parties. Yeah, oh, same. Oh, Sharon says flower sieve. Interesting. Mm, I don't know that it is. That would need to be more... That would it. And why has it got a um, funny looking thing that you move about? To make it go oh, through. To make it sieve. Make yeah, it go yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of shaking it, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Ken says the same thing. Right? Oh. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, we'll go with that. Um, I had one of these. Well, I didn't. My mum had one of these at home. <coughs> so did my nan, actually. It was all the rage in like the 80s. It's a cheese grater. And. Yeah, the, I've sold this very one. I think that I got about £15 for the last one. Uh, mo oops. Mo and it came with two different attachments as I don't well. Know if you can see that. Mooley grater. Yeah. They were, they were cool. I loved that when I was younger, when I actually ate cheese. Because, you know, you didn't, you didn't have to grate the cheese. You could just put a lump of it in and just, like, merrily... Yeah, well, because it <laughs> and also it pushed this thing pushes the cheese yeah. onto the grate, so your your fingers down. don't have to go near it. I can't watch people grate cheese. You know when you watch like a chef and they're happy doing this on the grater, talking to the. I'm like, go watch. Yeah. And even worse than that, these lethal things. Look at the orange thing we've got going. We've got on. a bit of an orange theme, which these. is nice because it's all it's all good for like. Camper vans and mm. uh, um, this is a isn't isn't the name Borna or is it? That's an he said Bona. It's not Bona, is it? It's Bo isn't it? I don't know. Borna. Yeah, lo lots of people are saying flower sifter. So thank you for that. Oh, okay. We'll go with that then. Can't find the brand on it, but I'm pretty sure it's Borna. Yes, it is. It's Borna. Anyway. But they're, they're lethal, those things. I've sold loads of them, but ugh, so mm. sharp. Right, should we relieve ourselves of all of this? Because I can't move. Yes, but you can show people that first. Oh, yeah. And then I'll put these away. Same guy who had... No, hang on. Is this the guy who had the typewriter? I can't remember what we bought. No, was. I think it was a different store. Was this the guy where I got the Bob Marley and we were chatting to... 
the guys. Mark mm, doesn't matter. Actually, okay. actually, I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's, it's we'll watch it back on the video and then we'll know. <laughs> it's a lamp stand. It doesn't have a great deal of age to it. It's Marks and Spencer, but it's just a nice. What was it you said in the video? Object. It's not just any lamp. It's an M and S lamp. <laughs> I think we paid two pounds for it. Yeah, I think it was from the same woman that you bought the laptop case from. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yeah. Anyway, um, Barry says that cheese grater was really had really small holes. So, so great. Pardon the pun for grating cheese onto baked potato so it melted quickly. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, it comes with a couple of different graters, doesn't it? Yeah. Great. They're great. Yeah, great. Great. Okay, this is something that you spotted. I wasn't in, I wasn't as keen on it as you were, but we bought it anyway. See, you've you've got inside my head now. I'm looking for breakable things wherever I go. Um, so a set of these bowls inside a large bowl. So I guess you'd use it for trifle oh. or jelly or, you know. So it's got a vase of flowers, I guess you'd say. Yeah. It's pressed glass, so like molded, molded or pressed, done in a mold. Yeah. Um, Mandy says, I see a small gap above Andrea's head. Is that why you're putting it on? Yes, it's all going on that shelf. <laughs> Don't ask me where it's going, honestly. It's ridiculous. So we've got six bowls. Yeah, I can't even work in my office anymore. It's just a storeroom. And one mahusive one. So I'm thinking trifle and set of six. That's about right, isn't it? That's like a set. Four pound a lot. Yeah. You weren't keen, but I thought I thought let's do it. Yeah, let's do I it. wasn't in love with it, I have to say. Hopefully someone else will be. Um if you use the cord of that MS lamp to tie someone up, does it become an S and M lamp? <laughs> moving on yeah so while this was a weird thing at this store i was i was going oh look at these really nice pressed glass bowls mm. and then andrea was busy finding um kids books which is normally my realm yeah we kind of swapped roles for a bit didn't we these are cool these that, that are wasn't the chicken by the way <laughs> choose your own adventure Remember these from the 70s, 80s? Um, there was a market for them. Yeah. And this one is uh, Adventure Game Books with the green tops. They're good. Stephen says, my whole flat is now work store room. <laughs> yeah. It does become a bit like that. Um, I'm not sure if these are fight a real life opponent in the deadly struggle to unite two of the famed kingdoms. These, he was explaining, are two-player books. Oh. Not sure how that works. I remember these, where you get to the end of a chapter and it says, would you like to go yeah. into the cave? Would you like to slay the dragon? All of that. But check them out. There is a very strong market for these books. Um, prices vary, but yeah, great. So you notice those, and I noticed the glassware. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Oof. Yeah. DAB radio. <laughs> um, um, there is a box of stuff there, kind of balanced. Yeah. Boxes on. There's more it. here. There's a great. There's a crate there. There's another big box down here. So I don't know what you want to show and what you don't. Oh, I can quickly do this. I had a similar one of these. Um, Erlex spray station things uh, a few months ago and it sold almost straight away for 50 I think that one was this is also new in the box like the last one and this is one that is a uh, back mounted one like a backpack one um, yeah should be another 50 60 pounds I paid 20 on it oh we've got a blender oh yeah 
Oh, we met a dog at this stall. Oh, we did. What was the dog's name? It was name? a five-month-old um, Labrador, I think it was, not a retriever. It might have been a retriever, but I think it was a Labrador. And uh, he was called Bruce, and he was just so adorable. Bruce? He wanted to eat my jumper. <laughs> Why can't I make this attach? What am I doing wrong here? I don't know. I need help. Trying to attach me thingy. Oh, there you go. So we have a similar thing, a uh, Nietzsche bullet. Um, there's not much value in these, but it was only two quid, and it's a simple sort of 15 pound flip. Uh, Breville smoothie maker, basically. This bit blends up your, your fruit and ice and whatever. You can use it for soups and that sort of stuff. And then you have it in a cup. You know the sort of thing. Bread and butter item. Yeah. Did it come with a lid for the cup? Uh, there was something else, wasn't there, knocking about? Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it. I don't know. Anyway, that's all good. Um, you can sell them as replacement bases and spare bottles and stuff if you want to break them up. Put yeah. that down there. Put that down there. Um, anything interesting this way? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we we picked up some pumpkins from a lady. She was a really mm. funny lady. She was well, so. They were gourds, not pumpkins. Oh, they were gourds. Yes. Um, and she was a really chatty, really funny character, wasn't she? And I noticed these on her stall, and I said to her, "Do you know anything about these? What are they? Anything about their history? Whatever." And she said that they were um, Sunday school attendance, like pins, little tiny star things. That's what she thought they were. Um, she said that they were from a friend of hers who was going to just get rid of them. And she said, well, I'll stick them on my stall. And I said to her, OK, well, what would you like for them? There must be 10 or 15 in there. And she said, oh, just give me 50p. I said, OK, let's do that. And then she said, don't forget these bits. So these are little ribbons that apparently go with them. So, yeah, I don't know anything about them. I don't know if they have any value, but they're really cool. There's loads that are the same. Yeah. So there we are, 50p for a little pot full of those. And then we, we gave her a few quid for some of her little gourds. She had loads. She had a massive pumpkin as well, didn't she? Yeah, like probably one of the biggest I've ever seen. Mm. It was getting a lot of attention. I bet she'd have sold that. Yeah. Okay. So what else? Oh, turtles. I bought a load of turtles. Yeah, they do look kind of Soviet. Yes, but I don't think they are. And from, from what she had been told, they're something to do with Sunday school. But I don't know so another stall they had some new in the box turtles gear uh which was priced as such three and five and six and i got the three for ten pounds i don't think i could find an example of that one that had sold recently Somebody had managed to get 27 on this new in the box. I don't think I looked this one up. This is nothing amazing. It's um, Mega Blocks figures. But yeah, we'll do fine on that. Christmas is coming. Do you want to try these metal working tools? Yeah, they're a bit different, aren't they? Oh, crumbs. Um, question, are you doing a Halloween special live? We are. Over Halloween weekend, we're doing um, a load of stuff um, in collaboration with Lainey and hopefully many other YouTubers. Uh, so we'll chat about that in a minute. Yes. Uh, we need to really get organising for that. But we'll show a few more bits. These are so heavy. Now, something you don't expect to find on a stall in a village just outside Milton Keynes is a load of, like, blacksmith metal working tools um 
but I did, and they were priced really reasonably. So there's some tongs and another pair of slightly different tongs, slightly different size and length. This lethal looking spike and then two of these um, rasps or files for metalworking. Um, and I got the whole lot for six quid. These are still in their packet. I said to him, so you're a metal worker then? And he said, no, no, I'm a photographer. And I was commissioned to do a photo shoot. But he didn't go into any detail. And he said, and they provided props. And he said, they've been in my garage for like five years. So I said, okay, how much for the lot? And I'll take them away. Um, they are labelled uh, with a make and made in Italy, or certainly on the rasps. So I don't know if the tongs are the same. Uh, I can't see a maker on those. But they're really, you know, nice, chunky, heavy things. And I do like buying and selling tools. Uh, should we quickly do some wrestlers? Some what? what? Wrestlers. Wrestlers, if you like. I was just Loads gonna say of Meccano quickly, in there. just going to say quickly that I've, a lady was selling a load of um, vegan nail varnish. And weirdly, it's one of those situations where you kind of manifest something. I'd been looking for some vegan nail varnish. Um and I was actually even considering, because they're quite expensive. I think the Sally Hansen ones are about £8 a bottle. Um, and she reckoned that these were £9 a bottle. So it kind of puts me off because it's a lot of money. But I had been considering buying myself something like that for, you know, Christmas time. And then she was selling them for £3 each at her boot, her boots, her, her, her table. And... Um, she had lots of different colours, so I chose those two colours because they're nice and autumnal. And then she said I could have the two for, the, for a fiver. So, yeah, yeah you those... were happy with that. Oh, yeah, it was just one of those moments where I was like, oh, this is nice. I've been looking for this sort of thing, and it was really cheap. Yeah. What I might do, Mufasa, um, I'll, I'll do a picture on Instagram, and you can take a look, um, see if you have any idea what they are. Um Please don't tell me those tools are any, anywhere near the chicken. No, the chicken's safe. The chicken is safe. They might be glass makers' tongs, possibly. Don't really like the to tongs are for making lead musket shut. Really? Hmm. It's a thought. I don't really know. Um, I just saw a little comment from Alison who left me a comment on Instagram earlier. Where's that? So um, there. She's from Canada. Hi, Alison. <laughs> Hey, Andrea, loved your Instagram post. What what post was that then? Uh, about the abandoned chapel that we went to. Oh, yeah, we went to... It was a place I've heard about, and it's not far from us, really, but we've never been. Um, uh, Great Minston Chapel, I think it's called. Min or just Minston? Minston. Minston Chapel. And in the middle of nowhere, in a little bit of wood, in the middle of a field, there's this really spooky chapel. And we went and had a mooch about, didn't we? Yeah. Um, right, um, yeah. we'll quickly so share this. We both shared some photos on our Instagrams. So links are below if you want to go and have a look. I put some of my stories, but Nick doesn't use stories. So he hasn't got any on his stories. <laughs> I shared the pictures. I know, but you don't do stories, do you? No, I just put pictures mm. on. Um, so there's a load of scenery for the wrestlers yes there's... neil at the back of the rusty gun yeah. yeah yeah we didn't access it from the back of the park we we came in kind of from the other side we were yeah we from hitch the wood. wood yeah so there's a there's a ring and then a load of scenery and stuff that you can break up you know and then a bunch of figures and as usual i don't know who these people what are what a shame steve's not in anymore oh yeah <laughs> Those are these guys. Oh, there's two of this one. He looks like the same very unhappy, grumpy guy. I oh, see. Stephen says he doesn't understand stories either. 
I can't be bothered with it. I'll just put a picture on and, and then comment. It does me. Oh, so, wow. yeah. Um, Neil said that Fields of the Nephilim did a video there. Ooh, interesting. There's a really spooky little grave um, or a plaque. It's not a grave. It's I read, I read online when we got home. <laughs> Reginald Hine. Um, and he said, because he, he loved the place, he was going to haunt it and protect it when he died. That was the thing, isn't it? Yeah. And also his friend... His, his friend, um, who is a photographer, somebody Latchmore, um, did like a hoax photo. Do you want to make any more noise? <laughs> I'm done. Um, he did a fo folks. No, no, <laughs> hoax photo. So I'm thrown now. A hoax photo of um, a monk, like a ghostly monk in this chapel. And then they sort of created this kind of myth that on Halloween night, this monk is seen walking up the stairs. The stairs don't even exist anymore. They've all. No, crumpled away, but but there, there is a lot of rumors locally that it is haunted. But and well, we didn't see anyone. <laughs> no, we were also there in the middle of the day. It's funny that yeah. ghosts only come out at night, isn't it? Funny that in the TV shows, <laughs> yeah. So, folks, hotel, have you never heard of these? <laughs> folks, hotel, <laughs> exactly that. And um, thanks for the uh tips on wrestlers. Triple H, John Cena, oh, was one of them, John Cena. Oh, I've heard of that one. And The Undertaker. Yes, I've heard of The Undertaker as well. See, I actually know stuff. John Cena was um, hosting that Wipeout show, wasn't he? The, the, the oh, of yeah, he American Wipeout. Yeah. yeah. Um, so going back to Halloween. So um, for the Halloween weekend, there's going to be a whole load of stuff going on on our channel and on Lainey's channel. Um, the, the the Spice Girls are involved. Uh, they're They're reforming just for us we're going to have them on for a bit of a chat uh i think that's going to be late sunday night it's going to be kind of the big finale of the weekend um so if you have a youtube channel and you want to get involved and host uh something on your channel we're going to pass the baton around channels throughout the weekend similar to what we did last year when we did the um reseller festival weekend similar thing there's going to be lots of stuff going on laney's organizing a raffle with prizes there's going to be an auction there's a load of cool stuff that you can bid on and get a bargain um we're going to be putting a couple of bits in for the auction one i think will be very popular um it's not so, yeah. a name of bridgewater chicken it's not a chicken <laughs> it's not a chicken um so yeah so if you are a youtuber um if you're not you'll be able to get involved obviously and watch and take part and maybe donate because we're going to do it all for charity as always um, but if you are a YouTuber, and did you say it was nineties? Get, get in touch. Nineties themed. Nineties themed. So we're doing like a nineties festival, similar to our eighties festival. Yeah. So yeah, let give us a message. Um, let us know if you want to be involved. Even if you don't normally do YouTube videos, but you fancy doing something. We had a couple of people last last year doing that. Somebody did a DJ set for us. You don't even have to be on screen. If we want to do something and be involved then yeah send a message perfect rich yeah we'll just we'll put you up what we did last time was we had a running order and then so at, at eight o'clock everyone goes over to so-and-so's channel and we had a kind of schedule of events so it's really great because everybody got involved and if you're a new youtuber and you want to help promote your channel it's a great way of getting involved yeah because we can put you on the schedule and then everyone will go around as if you're going around a festival watching different bands you'll just be going to different channels to do different fun stuff there's going to be quizzes again and auctions and raffles and whatever you want i think lex is going to do some music late night raving <laughs> so he says in other words a rave <laughs> But th there will be a bit of raving. Those of you that were there last time may have seen us with glow sticks. A little you bit. You never unsee it. <laughs> a little bit drunk by that point. In here, dancing in the dark with glow sticks. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be the weekend of the uh, 30th, 31st uh, of this month. So that will come around quick. Um, but yeah, Rich, uh, if you want to get involved and you want to do something, um, 
90s oriented if you can, but if not, it really doesn't matter. But that's the loose theme of it. Um, so yeah, can't wait for that. What was what was um, I saw Ian saying something? As it's your birthday in a couple of months, will you be watching the Spice Girls dressed as Old Spice? Mm. <laughs> I don't know, but I am looking forward to seeing the Spice Girls. You know, all five of them back together just for our event. Yeah. Don't, you know. <laughs> so segueing into the question that came earlier from George, um, apparently there is another meetup on Halloween, isn't there? Or on the Saturday, anyway, in Wolverhampton. Birmingham. AKA Birmingham. <laughs> it's the organised one. Um, Stee and Emma, who's She Sells Seashells on Instagram, have organised um, a get together um, in Wolverhampton. So that's on the Saturday of that weekend. Oh, um, they'll have to go live from that for the, for the thing. <laughs> but Yes, when we were up in um, Nottingham, there was talk about organising some sort of hitchin meetup at the end of the year. Yeah. So that is something that we do have in mind. We just haven't organised anything yet. That was always the intention, and we will we will plan something um, and try and get a venue that's perhaps a little more accommodating than the last one. Um, because the last couple of times we've organised an event, Pretty much everyone has thoroughly enjoyed themselves, and that's the whole point of it. So we're going to do another one. Everyone will be welcome. And as soon as we have any details, we'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are we... Rich says, let me know what you need from me. So, yeah, I guess you'll talk to Rich about that. Yeah, I'll have a chat. Um, we'll just... I need to confirm with Lainey what kind of time slots we've already decided we're doing stuff like raffle and auction and stuff because i'm terrible at remembering times aren't i laney and i'm terribly disorganized as well um and then we can just say okay you know we'll pass over to you at nine or whatever time suits you and uh we'll work something out but yeah george if you're still watching you want to get involved that would be awesome yeah yeah cool excellent are we done sharing then uh um, it's probably I've, I've most run out of it. Of, um, breakable things to show people. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I did buy this book, which was it's been a big, well, it's been a bestseller over the last few months. Um, just yeah, I might have a little read of it, but it probably will be sold at some point. So if anyone is interested in purchasing, then let us know. Yeah. But yeah, um. You know, it's, it's the kind of thing that gets little parts of it get shared on Instagram. And a friend of mine um, shared the audio book with me. But I've never actually read the book. The so. Boy, the Mole, the Fox and the Horse. Yeah. It's, it's a lovely book. News to me. Um, as always, if you spot things in these videos and you're interested in purchasing them, things do take quite a while to get onto eBay. Mm best thing to do is message us uh through instagram instagram links uh are below and we can sort that out thanks to everybody who's um, been buying stationery we've had a huge response uh not only from viewers but from our general customers it's been great seeing that stuff fly out uh thanks if you did purchase some stuff and i think we're gonna wrap up shortly yeah so put your words of wisdom in we will pick one of those out so as Ian always has a question there for you oh what what Where's it? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, oh, Helen's room's still empty. Not this weekend, it's not. <laughs> She's coming home. <laughs> I will have to be very creative on oh, Monday. That's another thing we have to say. Next Sunday, we're not here. Um, we are going to be in the O2 watching Erasure. Oh, my God. That was we... very bad dancing, I'm sorry. <laughs> Doing <laughs> this. Just for that. <laughs> Yeah, we have we have O2 Arena tickets in London to see Erasure. I've never seen them. It just never kind of panned out. I've never got to see Erasure. We have standing tickets. We're going to try and get to the front. It's going to be awesome. But it means we won't be here. We will be hot and sweaty in London somewhere. Hmm. Well, <laughs> we'll be in London somewhere anyway. <laughs> yeah, so we unfortunately we, we won't be here. We're having a week off. Yes. Uh, don't put your chickens in one basket. Ooh. 
Hi, 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 uh, Mel Melmski, was that? I've been watching. I've been watching you for a while. Also, said on eBay, love your videos. Thank you. Uh, we never lose. We either win or learn. Oh, Ooh. I like that. Mm, profound. Yeah, I like that. Profound. Uh, well, I could dip into here, couldn't I? Let's see. Let's randomly dip in here and see Ooh. if I can find something. All right. Well, I'll pick one from the chat. You okay. pick one out of there. Yeah. Uh, from small acorns grow big oak trees. Crisps on toast is underrated. <laughs> I just found one. It made me feel a little bit. <laughs> Have, you well Have you found one? Have you found one? Well up slightly when I read that. Do you want to go with that then? But it's very apt as well. Very apt. All right. Let me just see what else I've got in here. You can't plough a field by turning it over in your mind. Oh, my God, I like that. Oh, we should be telling Ellen that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I shared one on Instagram, actually, today. Uh, I think it was Thomas Edison said, um, many people don't recognise opportunity because it comes dressed in overalls and looks a lot like work. In other words, most things need a lot of your time and effort to, to come to fruition and it's kind of like that you can't play a field by turning it over in your mind yeah by the way the phrase that i shared on instagram was a lot more eloquent than, than how i just put it <laughs> uh, wouldn't it be screaming like a girl at one direction <laughs> probably not um, i will i will sing probably almost every word of the entire gig when we went to see depeche mode i could barely talk afterwards put it that way I'm not a screamer. I won't be screaming, Oh, no, Vince, I love you. Not really my thing. Um, okay. Love and kindness is more valuable than any kind of money. Very nice. That fits in very nicely with the, the one that I've... A spoonful of sugar helps with. medicine go down unless it's suppository. <laughs> like it. Um, no bacon, no fry. No bacon, no fry. Well, we've got a bit of Bob here. Oh, it's up and down. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to pick the one that really rang true with me back there. Um, this one. So you can't plough a field by turning it over in your mind. I love that. Yeah. So this is literally where I, I went into this randomly. This is the first page that I came to, and I really like this. It's very apt. It says, what do you think success is? Asked the boy. To love, said the mole. Can't, can't really add to that. Uh, thanks so much for watching us. Um, if you do want to get involved with the uh, 90s kind of mini festival we're doing at the end of the month with Lainey, get in touch um, and we'll see. We won't see you next week. No. But we may put out a random live some other times so keep your eyes peeled for that okay yeah we're done yeah thanks for watching everyone we still got 375 fellow nutters with us which is awesome take care we'll see you soon Bye.